Welcome to Tentative Title with Tim. This is a podcast about creativity, about process, about filmmaking, and about screenwriting. All right, everybody, uh, welcome back uh, to the podcast. Um, I hope everybody out there is doing well. Uh, I know things are kind of backsliding a bit in some parts of the uh, the world, and uh, even here in the United States, it sounds like there's um, yeah that the, the cases are uh, starting to uh, go up again in certain parts, and um, yeah, that that really sucks. Uh, but I'm not here to talk about that. Uh, I just wanted to just talk about something that I've been thinking about because every week I think about something. I, I kind of have a subject that I mull over for the week. And then when I sit down to finally record an episode, I just kind of like let all my thoughts fly and kind of talk about what it is. It's, you know, the whatever conclusions or whatever. Uh, if you've been listening for a while, you know that that's what I do, or at least, you know, at least that's what it sounds like is I'm just, pretty much expressing whatever's going on in my head about what I've been thinking about that week. So this week, I've been thinking a lot about the idea of the blockbuster. And um, the reason why is because, so Black Widow came out and it was, it's a Marvel movie. And the last Marvel movie that we had was, uh, Endgame, and that was a billion dollar movie, and it was just, it was phenomenal, I was just like, the 2019 was full of, like, tons of billion dollar movies, and right now, that is the criteria to have a blockbuster, and that's just, that's insane that, you know, like, that a movie could make that much money and now we're you know we're talking about not only the we're talking about worldwide uh over a number of weekends and and you know stuff like that like there's there, it didn't happen all at once obviously but uh it, it made me think about you know the first blockbuster I, or the first time that i guess it was defined as a blockbuster was when the movie jaws came out and that just kind of like took the public by storm and i i don't I, I know the movies back then were in theaters for a lot longer so when you talk about a blockbuster it's like to get the money that it got it probably took like three months if not more uh, i mean heck maybe like a, a year before it even like reached a substantial amount of money but back then a, a studio would put a movie into a movie theater and as long as that movie was doing good as long as it was bringing in audiences they kept it in the movie theater and so that's kind of like you know why you could you know wait to see a movie you didn't have to see it the opening weekend and then you know star wars came out a couple years later and that that was a big you know blockbuster that was a big thing and these blockbusters always seem to happen in the summertime which was perfect because it was hot outside you needed to get you, you know you need to get in somewhere you know for a couple hours you know someplace with air conditioning and so why not go see a movie it was the perfect time to release your big you know tentpole movies uh, as they're known now and so so that trend has been going on for like 40 years and now we're at a point where a billion dollars or more is considered to be like a successful blockbuster movie. And then, well, I i mean, I didn't want to talk about it, but 2020 happened and the pandemic happened. And all of a sudden, this big high that, that Hollywood was riding on where you could guarantee that there was going to be at least three or four billion dollar movies within that year. And they usually came from like from Disney you know, you, it was just kind of a guarantee that, that the next movie was going to be a billion dollars and it was just going to grow uh, substantially from there. And then all of that just got like, <laughs> within a matter of like months, all of that was stopped in its tracks. And Hollywood was scrambling to figure out what to do with 
these big movies that they, they had planned to put out in theaters that would make that kind of money because putting it you know the, the putting it as vod uh or you know or you know like they, they were just trying to figure it out and you know the, there were and i they are still figuring it out right now and uh, because you know now now there's the whole so first you know the, there was the um trolls world tour which was like the first i guess experiment in how to make money during a pandemic um if you are a movie studio and that actually was really successful and and that made a lot of money uh for uh, a universal and then you know there were a bunch of other things that were happening where you know like <laughs> warner brothers was like hey you know we're gonna release all of our movies day and date and all the kind of complications that happened with that and then you know disney tried their their whole like well you know we have Disney Plus, and you can pay an extra thirty dollars to see the new mo- uh, the the new movies that that are coming out, and that's uh that that's a, a tactic that they're trying. But now in this day and age, we I, I don't know if the idea of the blockbuster is going to like I don't know if we're going to get back to that, or if we do, it's going to be in you know it's it's going to be a, a couple years before we even you know, uh, get to see like billion dollar movies anymore. And, uh, I, in a way, like, I think that it was kind of a, it was kind of a good thing because, you know, the, the idea of like having these big movies that would appeal to like the general audience, like on the one hand, we need those kinds of movies and, and they're, they're needed. And if you could play, if you make a movie that can play all around the world, you know why not? The, there's a need for those kinds of movies, and but there's also an, a need for the smaller or the the mid budget movies, and you know the those movies like are now kind of like no, I guess they're considered just to be streamers now. Like I don't even think that studios will even attempt to put smaller movies into a movie theater. It like it'll only be those movies that they can uh, that will guarantee you know, a billion dollars or will get a guarantee at least a big box office. And the whole window to have that happen is also a lot smaller. Uh, I think now it, it depends on which studio we're talking about, but I, th- I think there was like some arrangement where, you know, it was 30 days for one studio uh, that like that was their agreement. And then for other studios, it was like 45. And then, you know, there's still like the day and date where you can, you can buy it on the streaming site, or you can go to the movie theater. But they're it's released uh, on both uh, both ways on the same day. Uh, you know, it's just it's getting not necessarily complicated, but when you're trying to follow if a movie is successful or or not, it makes it a lot more complicated. Like the, there's no longer the uh, you know, the third party of the movie studios reporting their box office, reporting how many people bought a ticket. It's now, okay, there are the movie theaters that are reporting the tickets that were bought, but then there's also the studios who have their own, the, they have their own paywall, their own streaming site in which they can, I, I don't want to say that they will inflate their numbers, but it's impossible to verify unless they outright say you know give give you a spreadsheet and say here's if this is our spreadsheet of how many people click to watch this movie or who paid for it and here's the amount of money uh, accumulated uh from the price point that we uh you know we we sold it at or that we rented it at and it just it gets a bit more complex so how are we supposed to define a blockbuster anymore? And I, I'm not saying that we should. I'm not. I'm not saying that like, oh no, we can't define blockbusters. Oh, the you know the the, the industry's falling apart. You know, uh, it, it's it's more that it uh, the the idea about what it or I guess how much a movie makes is going to it, it it's going to be less. And so the the definition of a blockbuster is gonna is no longer gonna be a billion dollars, or at least, if it is gonna be a billion dollars, it's gonna take a little bit of time to get back to that point. But who knows if we are going to get back to that point? And um, 
so that's like the business side. Also, just like okay, I, I'm gonna get a bit personal uh, about it. And uh, I loved summertime, and I loved going to the movies during the summer. Like the like all the great movies were released during the summertime. Like all the exciting movies, all the action movies, all the movies where you know you could go into a movie theater, get your popcorn and your drink, and just watch like a larger than life movie unfold in front of you. It was just, it was spectacular. And, you know, not only that, I, I mean, the, the, like you could go see a movie in the afternoon, late afternoon and still co- like come outside after the movie was done and the sun would still be up and it, it would still be warm. And, you know, you could go have dinner and you could, you could like talk about the movie with your friends, you know, like the, there was like, it just seemed like time was endless during the summertime and and you know you could go see a movie you could go do a bunch of things and you know it just it it, it, just, it was a great feeling during the summertime like everything was so relaxing the was so much about having fun about you know just spending time uh not having to worry about schoolwork not having to worry about a lot of things you know you could just you could essentially relax because you know it's summertime and there's nothing else to do let's go see a bunch of movies and let, let's go see a bunch of movies in an air-conditioned movie theater and let's see some exciting uh you know stories let's see like the stars that you know we're excited to see because like back then it was like hey there's gonna be you know tom cruise is gonna be in this movie or john travolta or like arnold schwarzenegger or sylvester stallone like that there was always a a draw of a star and of of like a concept that you know was really exciting and i mean we're we're still kind of i mean we're we're coming out of the pandemic kind of uh, in terms of like being able to go see movies in movie theaters, and, and I I hope that we're able to still do that 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 we don't have to like you know backslide uh, because I mean that uh, that would be just terrible. I mean I, I I yeah I don't want that to happen. I don't think anybody wants that to happen because going to the movies is fun and especially going to the movies during the summer is a lot of fun. And and speaking of which, I mean like this past Friday. I, we went to go see Space Jam 2, and I was just like, I wasn't expecting to see it, but it was a fun movie. Like, my son wanted to see it, and I was like, uh, okay, I mean, the, I, okay, what, <laughs> let's let's go see it, <laughs> you know? I don't know what this is going to be. I don't know. I mean, I mean, I saw the first one, and the first one was uh, okay, you know, but I, but I was like, hey, I had a lot of fun. It was, why, it was being in a movie theater during the summer, having popcorn just like not not really caring about what what was going on in the world uh for a couple hours and then after it was all said and done I was like wow that that was great like yeah I want to go back to the movie there I want to see some more movies I want to have more more fun uh being uh you know consumed by these stories and by you know just just by the the entertainment uh so yeah uh you know what is a blockbuster now? Like, what, what, what really is it? I mean, like, do do we, do we have to cut off how we defined it from 2019? I I kind of think we might have to. I, I I think we might have to say, you know, hey, um, you know, pre 2020, there was a time when a blockbuster was defined as a one billion dollar film. Uh, after 2020, we had to define a blockbuster as like 600 million or 500 million, you know, or, or even lower than that. Like, who knows? It may just be like a hundred million is like what is considered to be a blockbuster, you know? So I, I don't know, but like, what do you guys think? Do, do you, do you, do you even like care about the, the idea of the blockbuster? Do you like, what stories do you have of like seeing movies during the summer? Like what, what were some exciting movies that that you saw uh, that, you know, you have memories of where it's like, you you know, it was during a time when maybe things were a bit more carefree. You didn't have all the responsibilities of life. Uh, Or if you're at at that time right now, like, well, do you miss the 2019, like being able to just see a bunch of movies uh, during the summer? And now there's like 
there, there are still movies out there, but there's like, there's not, I mean, there's not that many. Or like, if they are, they're just online. You know, they're on the streaming sites. And so you basically just sit at home and click, you know, buy whatever, you know, purchase this, purchase that, and just s sit down and watch it at home. Like, w what's your experience? Because my, my experience is very much of a, a, a sentimental nature of, of remembering a time when, which makes me feel really old. But, you know, hey, I grew up in that time. I love that time. There was something very, like, innocent about just going to the movie theater, seeing a great movie, and then, like, you know, just talking about how great it was to your friends uh, who had also seen it, <laughs> you know, who, who were there with you. And you could be like, oh, my gosh, did you see when that happened? Yeah, what did that mean? Oh, my goodness, what is going on? <laughs> you know, just like the excitement about stories and about spectacle. Like, man, and it's coming back. Like, the, like I said, Marvel still is able to give some spectacle. They're able to, like, do some pretty awesome things on screen and there are other movies out there that have that same kind of feel but i don't like yeah it's not as grand sometimes as uh, as it used to be i guess you could say so anyway guys that that's what i was thinking about this week i was just thinking about the blockbuster and you know i i said the whole thing so uh yeah guys uh i hope uh once again you know, wherever you are in the world, I just I hope you're safe. I hope things are looking up. That you're, you know, you're successful doing things you want to do, uh, making things, whatever it is that you're like. You're going after those things that that you want, and you're making progress toward the toward those goals. So, um, all right, guys, that's all I got. I will talk to you on the next one. And also, if you want to connect with me. I have a email for the podcast. It's tentative.title.with.tim.podcast at gmail.com. Also, I have a Twitter account for the podcast where I post uh, episodes, and that is at title underscore Tim. And you can find... Also, on the Facebook page, I have a uh, page for the podcast, so you can connect with me there. Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing from all of you, and uh, until then, I'll catch you on the next one.